Hi everyone, Greeno here and Litlan, and welcome to another video here on Greeno Eats. Now today we're looking at this, we've been sent another snack box by our friends at Snackverse. So we've had two boxes from them previously, we had their kind of premium box when it was the Spanish month, we had an original box which is the medium sized one from Bulgaria last time didn't we? Yep. And we've been sent another original box this month. Now, for those of you that don't know, Snackverse is a subscription service. You'll find all their details online. I'll link it down in the description below. Basically, it's a monthly thing. You can dip in and out of it as you like. Every month, they put together little parcels of snacks from various different countries. And you just get to try snacks that you wouldn't find in your normal shop down the road. You'd have to fly all the way to wherever they are. So... Let's have a little look at what we got this month, shall we? Yep. Let's say we've had Spain, we've had Bulgaria, and this month... Netherlands. We have the Netherlands. There we go. So, all the snacks in this box will be snacks that are available or exclusive to the Netherlands. So there'll be a mixture in here of savoury snacks, chocolate, sweets, maybe even little cakes, that sort of thing. There's always a drink in everything apart from the mini box. So we'll get a drink in here too. So why don't we get everything out of the box? We'll separate it into kind of like savoury things, chocolatey things, sweety things, cakes. And then we'll give some things a try, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, so we've emptied the box here and put everything out here in front of us on the table. So we've got three different kind of crisps, if you like. There's a couple of different packets of sweets here. Um, some little mini biscuity things. About seven or eight different little caramel strupwafel, which are very, very famous in the Netherlands. One little sweet all by itself. <laughs> we'll have to fight over that, kiddo. Little chocolate bar and a couple of cakey little things. Now, of course, the thing is, oh, yes, and the drink. Let's not forget the drink. Mm. Well remembered. Now, of course, a lot of these things, it tells you what they are, like these Lay's paprika flavour. But some of them, like this little sweet with a monkey on it, I got no idea what that is. But what Snackverse do, they have a handy little booklet here, which gives you. Not just information about the country. There's some Dutch facts in there. Do you want to learn some Dutch facts later? No. No? Okay, fair enough. Um, some different things about what they eat at different times of day. There's information here about if little travel tips if you go there. A couple of recipes. That sort of thing. So it's a really in informative little uh, leaflet, this. But it also details all of the different snacks that you'll find in each box. So like I say, we have the original box, which is the medium sized one. This will contain everything that's in the mini box, plus a few other items for the original box. Then there is one size bigger, the premium box, which has all sorts of extra stuff in there as well. So the good thing about this is that it gives you an explanation in English of what each thing <coughs> is. So for example, these now these aren't something you find in the UK although it is written with uh, with English on the outside of it Crokey Explosions Thai Curry Crisps so it basically gives you a little description here these are no ordinary crisps imagine intense Thai curry spice infused into crispy ridge potato perfection sound good to you? you like curry flavoured crisps? never tried well guess what's going to happen now you're going to try it. <laughs> not too strong a curry flavour, is it? Yes, it's not the most full bag of crisps I've ever seen, it has to be said. <laughs> they become well, not even halfway up, but still. Maybe they've been smushed down a little bit in transit. So I'm going to pull one out here. You have that. So it's a ridged crisp. Well, it has got... Quite a nice curry smell to it, but got a mild curry smell, I would say. Yeah. Let's give it a try. I like them. It hadn't even hit your tongue when you said that. 
And they're quite sweet. They're almost too sweet for a crisp, I would think. You disagree, do you? Like a... It's a very mild curry, and not necessarily something I would even say you can detect as being Thai curry particularly. It's just a curry flavour, isn't it? Just like a little bit of a sweet curry powder on there. I mean, they're not bad, but they're not great. Um, I think we'll leave these ones for now, because we've had paprika flavoured crisps loads of times, haven't we, before? Yep. So we don't need to talk about them. These are a bit different though. Doritos Bits. Honey barbecue. Yeah, honey barbecue flavour Doritos Bits. So again, we don't really need to look it up, but there is information in the booklet about them. Let's just give it a, uh, a little open up here and we'll see what's inside, shall we? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, they are tiny. Oh, wow, they are. There you go, have a little look at that. So, can you see those on my palm? They're not much bigger than little seeds would be, to be honest. Very crunchy. Mmm, they're good. They almost look like tiny little chopped up bits of pasta or something, don't they? Oh, yeah. They don't have much flavour to them, though. No, but they have good flavour. It's a little bit bland. They're so tiny. They do have that, that corn taste you get from Doritos. It's not the most exciting flavour, I don't think. I like them. Okay. I'll keep them in my room. <laughs> Maybe they'll go in your pat lunch tomorrow or something. Who knows? Okay, so there's only three savoury items in this box this time. A bit more sweet stuff here. Let's have a little look at these. Interesting looking little packet of sweets here, just a small one, only 20 grams. But it's called Auto Drop. And they look like car shaped sweets. Let's get them opened up and have a little look, shall we? In fact, you can open them okay. while I look up the information. How's that? Okay. So it says these are iconic sweets from the Auto Drop brand and are shaped like Cadillac cars. And they are strawberry flavoured. So. They're pretty small. They are quite small. Well, they're. <laughs> they are actually like mini little cars. Not two flavours, are they? They're the same. <laughs> like, no, they're different. They're colors. strawberry flavour, I think. So they're a bit like those Haribos, aren't they? That you get with like the crocodile shaped ones or whatever. Yeah. Where you get the foamy bit on the bottom and then the jelly bit on the top. They smell good and they taste good. Yeah, they taste, they taste all right, actually. They taste like Harry Bear. But not very strawberry if you know what I mean. It's just a sort of more of a generic berry flavour, isn't it? It's not really strawberry, it's just berry flavoured. But they're okay. You're having another one, are you? <laughs> Fair enough. But while you do that, I'm going to look up what these are. Look, it's a mirror. Got a cheeky monkey on the outside. <laughs> no? Okay, so these are called Katya Apakopan. Whimsically shaped candies resembling monkeys with black heads and vibrant yellow mouths. The black heads feature a naturally sweet licorice flavour. And the yellow heads offer a delightful soft banana taste. Doesn't it? it says yellow heads? Anyway, let's have a little look at one of these. Well, they're quite big. I don't want to eat it. You don't want to eat it? Look at that. But it's a lot bigger than those um, little Cadillac sweets, aren't we? I mean, if we compare the two, oh, if I can get, if I can get one out of here, look at the difference in size between the two. <laughs> I don't, I, I These don't are mini. Like You're going to regret eating this, are you? So banana and licorice. I'm not sure it's a combination I've ever had before. It does smell of licorice, but quite sweet. Not a really strong licorice. 
Licorice and banana, huh? It's actually all right. I quite like that. Like if you just try the banana bit, okay. it's like, it tastes a bit like those foam bananas you get. Oh yeah. Bananas. But they're really quite sweet, aren't they? This, with the licorice on there, it takes some of that sweetness away and replaces it with a little bit of bitterness. Like but the banana nice. means that the licorice is not as harsh as it could be. I actually think that's pretty good. All right. You don't like it. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe we'll try the drink. You can wash it, the taste away with the drink. Yeah, I don't want to open it because it's been shook. So this is Fernandez Green Punch. So this is a tropical soft drink with a sweet fruit flavour. And it originates from Suriname, actually, which, of course, is a Dutch colony in South America. So, oh, look at that. It's green. It is green. Really green. <laughs> I'll just try a bit of that for now. That is really green, it's isn't it? <laughs> Looks like something they drink in Star Wars or something, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look how green that is. That's good for the channel, isn't it? For Greeno Eats. Hmm? Wow, it's fruity, but like really artificially fruity. Cool. And it's carbonated. I don't know how I feel about that. No, I'm not sure either. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? It doesn't taste like any soft drink you get over here, I don't think, at all. It's a bit like... Never had that flavour. Tinned... You know when you get tinned fruit, like the tinned fruit cocktail, the mixed up one? Oh, yeah. Have you ever had that? Yeah. I know we don't have it at home. It tastes a bit like a drink flavoured with that. I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not overly keen. It's a bit weird. It is a bit weird. Okay. You want to try the waffle next, do you? So the Stroop waffle. Are we going to share one or one each? One each. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Oh, look, this one's already broken in half, though. You could have had half. Look. No. So these are just l mini little waffles. And you can see the marking on the outside there. That's the traditional kind of thing. And it's filled, I think, with a caramel sauce, it says. Oh. Yes, caramel. It smells a bit cinnamony, yeah. which is a problem. <laughs> Tastes of Jimmy Red. Taste of gingerbread, yeah, okay, so I think that's the cinnamon in it. They're quite soft. Taste of gingerbread. You can definitely pick up cinnamon in there, that's for sure. It's good. But I thought they'd be sweeter with the caramel in the middle. They're not really, that sweet, are they? I don't really notice that there's caramel. See, it's pretty much just waffle. And it's almost a bit like a... Biscoff kind of flavour, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Not too bad. Netherlands version of Biscoff. <laughs> exactly. Do you want to try these little smiley face? I think these are biscuits in here of some kind or another. Let's see if I can find it in the book. Yeah, so these are... Dutch spiced cookies to satisfy your sweet tooth. And they have little smiling faces on them, apparently. Looks a bit creepy. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want one of those leering over you if you woke up in the middle of the night, would you? Dad. But, um... Oh, that's a different one, is it? Is it the same? It's a bit, a bit of a different face. There's obviously a variety of ones you get in the... In the packet there. Well, don't take them all out because you're just going to eat one now, aren't you? No, but... <laughs> right, let's give it a try. Very crispy. Like, really crispy. That is a Dutch Biscoff. More than the little Stroopwafel. That little bit of spice in there it's does spicy. taste... Well, like, spi not spice like chilli. Spice like cinnamon or oh, I like 
that sort of stuff. I know you do. But they're actually okay. It's a very mild kind of cinnamony hint in there. I don't think it's just cinnamon. It's almost like those sort of winter spices you'd get with a gingerbread, that sort of thing. What have we got here? That looks just... That looks disgusting. Looks disgusting. It just looks like a slice of cake. I know, a weird cake. A weird cake, she says. Yeah, very weird. So this is actually um, a gingerbread cake. Oh, there's a bit of a, I there's, a, <laughs> well, there's a bit of a theme here going on with these sweet things. A lot of it have got a very kind of similar base flavour, haven't they? Yep. So maybe this is what's really popular in the Netherlands. They like that kind of spiced, cinnamony, caramelly kind of flavour. So, gingerbread cake. Have a little try. It feels quite dense. It's gross. Do not try it. <laughs> you don't like it, do you? Don't wash it down with your green drink. I don't like the green drink. <laughs> It has got a weird texture. It's gross. I don't know what it's like. It's, like I said, it's quite a dense texture, almost like rye bread. Just a bit spongier than that. Again, not overly sweet. So I don't, that seems to be a bit of a theme here with the, a lot of the sweet items. They're not very sugary. It's okay, it's not too bad. Let's see how I've ever had. The worst thing you've ever had, is it? Mm. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sure you've had worse things than that. Mm. Well, we're making our way through these things today, aren't we? Right, what have we got here? This is called a Gewulde Kuk. Here we go. Gewulde Kuk, it says on the outside. This is a almond filled cookie. The rich buttery exterior and almond paste filling. Does that sound a bit better for you? Well, and the yeah. gingerbread cake? It's got almond in the middle. Let's have a little look at this. There's the cross section of it. There's basically a buttery kind of pastry on the outside, almondy paste in the middle. I'll try a little bit first in case you don't like it. It smells like almond. Almond. It smells like almond, okay. Oh, it does. Oh, it's kind of almost like Just Bakewell like tart. Doesn't taste very good. Oh, I like that. I you can eat mine. This is actually really sweet. By some margin, the sweetest thing we've had out of these kind of cakey little bits. And it's kind of got that texture of a frangipan in there. A bit like you'd get in a in a proper Bakewell tart. Mm. Now, with all the sweet things, that is the star for me so far. That's really good. Right. Not interested, are you? Right, this just looks like a normal chocolate bar, so Not we don't need to try that. We've got this one sweet left. <laughs> Normally, you'll get a little handful of sweets if it's individual things like that. But for some reason... I call dibs. We've only got one. This is called Hopiers. It is a perfect harmony of caramel and coffee. Oh, I want it. Well, let's see what it is. We might be able to split it in half. Hmm. Maybe not. You're not strong enough. Let's see if I can bite it in half. No. No, now I have to have your teeth. <laughs> Mmm, it's good. <clears throat> it's like a very sweet coffee. How long did that take to do it? What do you think about How it? it? What do you think? It's good. Can you be any more descriptive than it's just good? Nope. No. No. <laughs> oh dear. It's a very hard sweet. I managed to break it just by chomping on it with my incisor very pronounced coffee flavor but with a lot of sweetness in there and you can pick up that caramel taste oh, I wish there was more than one of these in there because like. it's one of the better items I think isn't it mm 
We have to remember this. If we're ever in Holland, Huppiers, we'll have to buy a bag of them, won't we? Well then, folks, so that is us having had a look through the Netherlands edition of the Snackverse subscription box. Like I said, this is the medium-sized box they do. There is a smaller one, which has about half of these items in, and a bigger one, which I think is like $23.99 or something, but a big one, yeah. which has probably about double the amount of different things in that this one does. I think this is probably, out of the three that we've had, our least favourite one, would you say? The Spanish one was really good, because we had the big box for that one, didn't we? And there was all sorts of really good stuff in the Spanish one. We had fried egg flavoured crisps and all sorts in there, didn't we? The Bulgarian box was interesting. Had a lot of good stuff in there. I think with the Netherlands one, a lot of the flavours, particularly on the sweet stuff, were pretty samey. It was that kind of cinnamony, gingerbready kind of vibe. So the Stuntwafel, the gingerbread cake... The little biscuits with the faces on, they all kind of had a very similar flavour, didn't they? Yeah. Um, the crisps were interesting. You really liked those Dorito bits, didn't you? And the Thai curry crisps. So I think probably the savoury stuff is the, is the hit out of this. The almond cake I really liked. And surprisingly, banana and licorice worked together, in my opinion. Not Litlands. Hated it. <laughs> Hated it like poison, didn't you? More. <laughs> More than poison. So anyway... Like I said, I'll leave the details of the website and whatever for Snackverse if you want to take a little look. I think if you order your first box, there's always a offer on, 20% off or something along those lines. And you only have to buy one. Like Even though it's a subscription service, you can dip in and out as you want. You haven't got to sign up for an extended period of time or anything. So it's not too bad. Anyway, that's going to be it from us for today. If you've enjoyed this video, looking at the Snackverse box for the Netherlands, don't forget, click a thumbs up on there for me. It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you like what you've seen, what have you got to do? Uh, click the thumbs up button and ding the bell. <laughs> right, no. Close. Hit the subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications, and that way you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. Right. You going to eat some more snacks? Yep. Okay. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.